In this video, we'll share with you about how to create items, how to create new products, how to modify or delete any product or item already created in retail software. To create a new item, click on Masters menu, then click on Items. Here, you'll get a list of items that are already created. Whichever items we are creating are added up in this list. To create a new item, just click on New. It will open up a new item entry screen on your computer. Here, we enter item name like shirt. Then choose your tax lab. In this software, you can apply multiple tax labs on different items. Means, whatever tax is applicable on this particular item, you can choose that tax lab. If you need to make your own tax lab, then press F3 here and it will open up. Here, you can create your own tax lab as per your state rules. Let's enter VAT 6%. Choose whether it's taxable or tax free. You can also input commodity code given by taxation department. Enter VAT percent, whichever is applicable. Then surcharge. In some states, there is an additional tax applicable on VAT amount. It is called surcharge. While in some states it is applicable on basic value, then it is called SAT or state additional tax. If there is no surcharge, then you can also leave it blank, means it's fully flexible structure. As soon as you click on save, then all the VAT slabs created by you are available in the list to choose from. See? Now, we'll select its company name or brand name. If you need to create a new brand name, then simply press F3 in this list and it will open up a company creation screen. So let's create my company name. We can also set up discount percent for this specific company products. So let's save this company and you will get it in the list. Then commission. As we know, there are number of salesmen in a retail shop to sell items to customers. In case we need to give commission to salesman for selling this item, then we can set up our commission structure item wise. Otherwise, you can leave it blank. Whenever we input a sell bill, then agent wise commission report will be calculated automatically. As we know, items in a retail showroom are managed in article number sizes and colors. Here we can input our article number, its size, its color. In case we need to create a new size or color then simply press F3 on that particular column. Here we need to enter new color or size it will be added up in your list. Now input its basic price means value before tax. Sale price means a rate of item on which we want to sell it. These all prices are optional, not compulsory. Even you can change the rates at entry time. MRP means maximum retail price or print rate. Then purchase rate means basic rate plus taxes and other expenses. Or you can say it as cost price. Now input its opening stock in quantity and its estimated value. This software provides a very unique functionality. You can use your predefined barcodes or let the software create barcode for you. In some cases, items come with barcodes already printed on their tags. Then you can use this barcode for billing. Otherwise, a retail software will create a unique barcode for this particular article number. In the same way, let us create another article. There are number of articles in different sizes and colors in every item. So you can input here in this Excel like screen. Then all masters will be created very easily. Just fill in the blanks. We can also change any information at any time from this screen. For a quick and fast entry, we have introduced here copy last article number option at the bottom means in some cases user need to change only article number or size 
while other parameters will remain same. So for making its work easy, just click on copy last article number at the bottom. It will copy all the parameters of last article and make a new article for you. At the bottom, you can see how many articles are there for an item. What is the opening stock total quantity? Estimated opening stock value. As we save, all the article masters are created automatically. To make changes in any item, just search its item name, then double click the item from the list. Suppose we need to change any price or opening stock quantity, anything you can check, just make changes and click on update. In this software, you can import your item master data from your Excel sheet using our Excel plugin. There is a file in your software folder, items data import.xls. In this file, you can input your all items data in Excel format as per the columns given. When you're finished entering items in Excel, you can import the same sheet in your software. Just select this file in your import plugin. Enter number of items to import and then click on import. Your all data will be synchronized automatically. So you can see these items in your software now. Thank you and enjoy your software.